What is up, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shidukun, and welcome back to day number 93 of Project Main, and we are playing as Scion in the top lane. We go ahead and pick up a corrupting potion, a warding totem, run out to lane while rearranging our scoreboard as we go. That's wrong, that's right, that's right, that's right, this up you here, and that's, what the fuck? Mm, I don't know what their team is, but in the top lane, it's going to be me as Scion, Scion versus Pantheon in jungle, Shivana versus A Nidalee, AD carry, skip it over mid lane real quick, is Draven versus the Vayne with our support being Nami, and their support is either a Lux or a Talia. I think it's a Lux, but she's running teleport, which is kind of odd. So, we'll see. I th it's probably mid Lux. Uh, let's go over Scion's abilities here real quick. His passive is called Glory and Death. After you're being killed, Scion will reanimate, um, kind of like a Yorick ultimate. Uh, with rapidly decaying health, his attacks become increasingly fast. You gain 100% life, lifesteal and needle bonus damage, equal to 10% of his target's max health. Abilities are replaced with Death Surge, which just grants a burst of movement speed, which you can only use once. Q is Decimating Smash. You charge up a heavy blow for, what is it, 2 seconds? Um, after one second, the longer you charge, the more damage it does, and if you, um, if it lasts for at least one second, the, any, every enemies in the area will be knocked up and stunned. If, uh, it doesn't reach a second, they'll just get slowed. W is Soul Furnace, passively gain, uh, gain permanent health every time you kill a minion. So we're just actually going to take that first, and, uh, actively... You shield yourself for a certain amount of damage, for a certain amount of time, I think it's what, 3 seconds? 6 seconds. Okay. Yeah. 6 seconds, and then um, if the shield does not break, then you can reactivate it after a certain amount of time. Pantheon's just going to be annoying as fuck, so... I'm just going to stay back. He's gonna try and kill me. I'm gonna take. I'm actually gonna take my Q here. My E is Roar the Slayer. Um, shoot out a shockwave in a target direction. Um, just if it hits a minion, it will knock the minion back, and it'll mark all the uh, enemies it hits along the way. If it doesn't. Um, if it hits a champion first, it'll just re um, reduce their armor. So because I didn't channel it long enough, the uh... the duration wasn't long enough so that he didn't get knocked up. It's fine by me. Pantheon is a very early game champion, so he's just going to try and poke the shit out of me as much as he can. But I'm just going to... Smack him up with some stuff. Oh, I'm dead. Just try and see us as much as possible. Gonna rush, just armor. His Pantheon does do a bunch of physical damage. Changes teleport back to lane so uh, I don't miss on experience. Gonna max our, uh, our Q up. I would max W to increase the health that I get per kill, which I think it scales up. But I'd rather not. I'd rather just uh, get the potential damage instead of the. I guess the shield would be better versus the Pantheon, but I'm just going to focus on farming up, sacking up our W passive, getting tanky, and trying to make plays around the map with our ultimate, which is Unstoppable Onslaught. Basically, you become, what, like it says, Unstoppable. Um, you charge down in a target area, or not a target, a target direction, with very little uh, mobility. And uh, y when you collide with an enemy champion or terrain, you um, you 
Pantheon decided to try and fight me inside of a minion wave, so he lost the trade. I'm gonna just roar at him. Oh, is there any Thunderlords? Okay. Oh, he slows. I guess I didn't know that. Um, while charging with my ultimate, I do become unceasable. So, immune to everything, including slow, stones, all the good stuff. Damn. Missed that. His Q's on like a 4 second cooldown, so my shield's on what, 12? 13. Got my ult, cool. Um, one thing about my ult is it does damage. Uh, his ult is actually pretty useless in lane. So, it's a little better for me. Looks like Echo are gonna be killing me in Italy. Interesting. Smack him up with that. I'm gonna go ahead and back here, pick up the. Actually, wait, can I buy both of those? I need 900. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna pick up the chain vest and a ruby crystal. Give me some health and some armor just to counter the Pantheon. Gonna rush the Sunfire. Um. Oh, so is Italia mid. So my ultimate, if you can see down on the mini map here, uh, it has an extremely long range. So, charge for, oh it's 8 seconds. You can steer slowly using the mass character while charging your immune to all CC. Reactivating the ability will cancel the charge early. So if you wimp out, you can uh, cancel it, but... You know what, we're just, we're probably not going to cancel unless we completely whiff our ult. Keep farming. Thing that he's missing. Teleport's in 40. So I can't assist. That's one thing about Pantheon, is that he's able to roam quite a bit. Mm, stacking health. How much have I got so far? 96 bonus health? It's not bad. So Scion's W actually can stack infinitely. Similar to Nasus Q, Vigar Pass it, or. I guess it is Vigar passive. Uh, what else scales indefinitely? Bard chimes. Throw another rock. I don't really know what I'm trying to accomplish down here, so I'm just gonna skirdaddle back to top lane. Ward here. Real quick, Pantheon looks like he's going for the Black Cleaver start, which will shred through my armor decently enough. Smack him with some damage, but E does magic damage, so it's not very strong. My W also does magic damage. Right? Yeah, magic damage. W does, or Q does physical damage, so... Pantheon's missing. So, I do have teleport up. Okay. Let's go ahead and ult him to get the damage off. Not even scared. So, good use of my teleport there. We're gonna max your W because what? This increases. No, it doesn't increase the. Sh uh, da what am I trying to say? Oh shit! That launches scuttle for days. So, as you saw, if my shield lasts for the uh, duration, I can reactivate it. Is it after two seconds? After three seconds. So, half the duration. Or at the end of the duration, it'll explode. Oh. Okay. Just run left. That's all you have to do. Why do I feel nothing? Am I enemy? I don't care. Oh 
OMGs. Okay. Roar. So Pantheon Flash. It's alright. We are going to pick up the Ninja Tabby to reduce his auto attack damage by 12%. Ultimate's not up yet, so that's unfortunate, but... So he can easily fight us, because we don't actually do very much damage. Um, and he's a super strong early game champion, especially when he gets ahead, which he kind of is getting ahead, which is bad for me. CS is pretty good, but as long as I can... Uh, like, we have a very strong late game comp. Like, Shivana is pretty... Actually, she kind of falls off mid-game. But she's doing alright. Echo's doing very well for herself, so that'll end up well. Draven, if he gets ahead, is going to be good. Which, his CS is awful, but he did pick up a kill. That's my W at. 140 bonus health. It's like, I hope we're gonna be killing the bot lane, get an assist for the Draven. Please give, uh, give Draven kills, bro. Looks like he, he rushed Ghostblade. Oh, what am I thinking? Hey, I did something! I got an assist. Get to tower. Looks like Pantheon just wants to push down top. But I don't think he can- yeah, he can't get it. He did pop Yomas, but that can only go so far. Yeah, he's not gonna get it. That just blocked two of his spears. What's his CDR at? Is he have the extra 5%? Scaling CDR. Hmm. Weird. I'm going to back and pick up my Sunfire Cape, because I do have that now. I do have Teleport to get back to lane. Talia ulted. Ult echo, ult! Why did you flash? What is Nami doing? And the fish keeps blubbing, blubbing, and blubbing, blubbing, and blubbing, blubbing, and blubbing, blubbing. What the hell is happening in my house? If uh, someone comes, I could just ult away. I'm gonna stand over here so my uh, sunfire.
So yeah, my uh, planning came in handy. What's up? Oh, she should die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn. So is near the red buff. You can tell because that was the max range of her laser. Auto attack. Yeah, it's just flat damage. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go for a frozen heart. I want some uh, CDR. And uh, the attack speed reduction will be slightly useful, especially versus a vein. Oh, that's a dead. Dead all of them. Shiv ult! Shiv ult! Ult! Hmm. Oh, Vayne, you fool. Fuck, <laughs> Works for me. I don't really mind dying a scion. Oh, that's a lot of bonus health. I think I want to go frozen heart into a titanic hydra. Oh, Draven, you just got fucked. But, Echo came to help. I will break you. A Lamau. <laughs> Amazing. 
No! I had no use for it, I wanted to ult in their base. I was also wondering why that my Q didn't stop the Italia or knock her off, because damage did knock her off the thing. Looks like Echo got an S. Shocker. We got a B plus, 6.9k, more than the Nami at least. More than everyone on their team besides the Pantheon actually, so hey, good job. Damage dealt overall, pretty freaking low. Damage dealt total, damage taken. We actually didn't do anything that game, we were kind of just a walking potato. So, hmm. Anyways, I was playing Sion in the top lane for day number 93 of Project Main. Um, not gonna be a main champion of mine, he... He's a tank. He can do damage in certain situations, but I don't know what those situations are. Um, he can kind of go AP sometimes, which is just kind of if you want to have fun, because his W and his E scale of magic damage and AP. But uh, you usually see it as quite a troll if you do that. But he's a super strong tank, has a decent amount of CC, so if you need to pick up a champion with that fits those qualifications, maybe Scion's the fit for you. His passive can uh, result in some interesting kills when people just forget about it, like I forgot about it every single time I died. Um, and just his overall... his kit's kind of fun. His ult is fun to use, but hard to steer. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but yeah. Thank you all very much for watching. Please check out the project mains that I've done, subscribe, and stay tuned for the ones I will do in the future, and as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day.